going on? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, One Man's Walk. I am your host, Gamal, back at you with another one. And so what we have for you today, the new Spider-Man trailer has released for the No Way Home movie, which will be in theaters on December 17th. We are just a little bit over a month away. Um, I really should have just brought my son in here, honestly. He's walking around in his Spider-Man pajamas as he typically is. Um, but let's, enough talking. Let's check this out. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we're showing the different villains. Okay. Ever since I got the virus, brother, I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. When was that? That was when you found out. I like her, man. Zendaya's dope. <laughs> they do good together. That spell they wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man. We put it all on Parker. That's a slick suit. I like that. Hello, Peter. <laughs> You're not Peter Parker. That answers that. So he didn't know it was Peter in the first trailer. I feel you. <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? So where are they that he found them? We need to send them back. So Scooby do this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple magic words myself, starting with the word please. She's such an underrated please. actress. She's so good. She is so, so, so good, man. Stop sleeping on some dying. Into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They're all dying. Fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. This is definitely like a darker tone. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. So hold on. Is he trying to save the Sinister Six? Oh, we finally get an understanding of this. Oh, man. The doctor is... Uh, tentacles, whatever you want to call them, is really nice on here. God, it looks okay. Happy. Sandman. Lizard. Electro. I know we already know about um, Goblin and, and Octopus. So I assume the sixth one must be Vulture. So right now we're seeing five. So I assume the sixth one must be Vulture. What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. This looks like the same moment. You know, it'd be crazy. Tickets on sale November 29. I don't know if Marvel is gonna do this, but doing the whole. Um, what I, I don't know if Marvel will do this, right? But what I think Marvel should do is some type of explanation as far as we saw what happened with Loki and Sylvie. We saw what happened with Wanda. We saw what happened here. And clearly all these things seem to intersect. And so the fabric of reality or the universe merging or however you want to view that it, it's not just one event. It looked like multiple events took place at the same time. And then if we even throw in what was taking place in the um, What If series, it's, it's all being at the same moment. I think I saw a video on YouTube where someone lined up what took place with with Kang and um, in the Loki series. And then what also took place at the same time with WandaVision and how they kind of lined up. It'd be nice to know if that mirrors what's taking place. If all of these things, coincidentally, or however you want to view that, were taking place at the same time. You know what I mean? And so I do wonder that. The trailer as a whole, though, um, it looked nice. It does look darker for this version of, of Peter Parker. I could see this level of darkness in the Andrew Garfield version. But in this version... This looks a little darker. I do prefer this Peter Parker. I think he nails Peter Parker as well as Spider-Man better than the other two individuals did. 
Um, I think the movies and maybe it's just being in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, having the ability to have um, uh, Feige being able to put it together, um, structure it better. Everything about it just comes across nice, even the way he was introduced in the, in the Civil War movie and how he was filming and all these other stuff in his own movie, the what took place in the Civil War to lead up like everything about how they've done his character has been justice. Now, personally, I still think the Miles um, character from the, the Spider-Verse cartoon or animated movie is still the best version that we have had. But as far as the live um, version of the movie, by far, this, this version, Tom, um, has been the best version. And then Zendaya is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Can't say enough about how good an actress she is. The, the the way in which she nailed the line with um with strange was really nice about the please I was like what magic what is she talking about and I thought that was really nice I also like the other guy I can't think of what his name is off the top of my head but the other character who is with um Parker on here he's really nice too I do like him so I, I am excited to see what happens of this and where we go next I guess with the Spider Man and then does this lead us into Strange based upon what takes place is that's why we're dealing with the multiverse of madness. So I'm, I'm just excited as a whole. Let's see where this goes. Didn't want to make it long. You guys leave your thoughts, your comments. What did you think about the trailer? Are you excited for it? What's your most excited or what's your favorite Spider-Man of the group? As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day weekday, weekend, whenever you're listening, however you're listening, whenever and however you're watching. Till next time.